So you think of moving to Northwood, Nervine, California. Well, in this video, we're going to go over the pros and the cons, the good and the bad, the beautiful and the ugly of living, working, playing, owning a home in Northwood, Nervine, California. You'll want to check out other videos, too. We have, we have a great vlog video of North Park. We have a map video of North Park, so you check that out. We have the luxury golf course community of Shady Canyon. We have Hidden Canyon, Portillo Springs. We have Huntington Beach, Santa Ana. We're making a lot of videos. Let us know what you're looking for. Let's get to our pros and cons video right now. So if this is your first time at Channel Welcome, if you want to know everything there is to know about living, working, playing, owning a home in Irvine, California, and surrounding communities, this favor, like our videos, hit the subscribe button, click the bell for notification, so you'll be the first to be made aware of when we upload a new video on Irvine, California, and surrounding communities. Hi, my name is Bruce Clark. I'm a real estate agent with Cobalt Banker. I've been doing this for more than 17 years. Whether you're looking to make a move in the next seven days, 70 days, or, or even further out, give us a call, shoot us text, send us an email. We'd love to help you make a smooth move to Irvine, California, and surrounding communities. And so like I mentioned, we're, we're going over the pros and cons of, of, of Northwood and Irvine, California. So let's first talk about the pros of Irvine. One of the safest cities in America for its size, over 250,000. I think 16 years in a row it's been rated the safest. So it's a wonderful place to live for safety. Schools, top rated schools, Northwood High School, one of the best high schools in the country. Absolutely fantastic, fantastic uh, uh, campus. You've got, you've got a great sports, you've got uh, athletics, you've got excellent, of course, academics. They have a wonderful performing arts center there and programs. A lot of neat things. Um, for some, it's also a con because it's so competitive. But it's not as competitive, I feel, as from what we've heard, certainly is, is uni high. We don't have any kids going to either one. But um, but we have we have people that have not wanted to move to Shady Canyon or Turtle Rock or Turtle Ridge or Quail Hill because they didn't want their kids to go to uni high or university high. We've not heard that about Northwood High, but it's very competitive. So, um, safety, schools, cleanliness. Um, you're going to find that, that, that Irvine is, I, I, I joke with people, Irvine, North, um, Irvine, Newport Coast, Newport Beach are kind of the, the golden triangle or platinum triangle, if you will. It's almost like fantasy. Because the roads are fantastic. They spend a ton of time on the maintenance. You've got, you've got landscaping crews just constantly you'll drive down the street and you'll see landscaping crews replacing some shrub, shrubs that you thought were perfect but they're putting new ones in and it really is is interesting so they're very proactive at that which is which is certainly a pro um the the location irvine or uh, northwood is in the uh the northeast part of irvine so it's a great location you're not far from not far from a lot of shopping, a lot of entertainment, a lot of food. You've got the the Irvine Spectrum. You've got North Park, uh, the North Park Plaza. You have Orchard Hill Shopping Center. So a lot of things are right are right there. Very much a pro. Now, as far as walking, uh, for most for the most of the communities in Northwood, it's a pretty good schlep, as my as my uh, Jewish friends would say. It's uh it's a pretty good walk. So so. Um, the weather here, 300 days a year, we have we have sunshine, so not a bad thing to get out and do some walking. I love to walk. So um, again, coupled with the safety, why not? I get it and enjoy. So there's also very uh, we have uh, a low number of bugs here, and if you're moving from Texas, it really is 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 wonderful to have that low number of bugs here. So safety, schools, weather, location. All very, very, very much positive. The, the uh, one of the downsides of Northwood is the age of the community. You're looking from the early 70s. You're looking up to around 2000, 2002 to five tops. There's no new homes in Northwood, and nor are there any being planned. So if you're looking for a new home, you're not going to find them in Northwood. You're going to find them in Orchard Hills. You're going to find them in Portola Springs, which we've done videos about. We've done our vlog our map video and we did a pros and cons on, on both communities you're going to find them there you're going to find them in the great park in vlog map tour 
pros and cons. There's a, there's a theme here. Um, so take a look at those videos. Let us know if you're looking for, for home in any community, of course. But Northwood, you're not going to find new homes. But what you're going to find, you're going to find a mature community, a community that, that doesn't have the, the, the finger of Irvine, um, the Irvine company in it. They, they were not involved in the planning, nor were they involved in, in the building of any homes in Northwood. So if you're looking for uh, different architecture, you'll find it in Northwood. You're not going to find it in North Park or a lot of other communities. Orchard Hills has, has very similar styles. Uh, that you'll find in, in uh, for example, Hidden Canyon and, and some other communities. So one of the things that we really like is diversity of architecture. And you're going to find it in Northwood. You're, you've got a lot of parks, but that's throughout all of Irvine. You have a lot of parks. It's a lot of, lot of parks. And one of the neat things is our, our schools are not gated. So there's, there's no fences, I should say, around, around the schools. So you don't want to go, of course, on to an elementary school or middle, middle school, even a high school during and during, uh, during school days. But the elementary schools and middle schools, certainly, um, a lot of times they have parks that are, that are open also to the public. So we, we, we love that. Um, let's come back, let's talk about shopping, entertainment, and food a little more. You have the Irvine Spectrum approximately 15 minutes away with a multi-million dollar, uh, I'm sorry, multi, well, multi-million dollar too. Multi-million square feet of space. You have not just, not just, the shopping and the entertainment and the food, but you also have the commercials. So a lot of businesses are out here. You have, um, you have Ford and you have Del, or, uh, Taco Bell, uh, Del Taco. You have Kia, Hyundai. They're all out here. And, uh, and a lot of it, you know, you have uh, just a lot of uh, Edwards Life Sciences and a lot more. But from a from a food, entertainment, and, and, and uh, shopping, you're really close to just a huge number of things. So at the Irvine Spectrum, you've got you've got California Pizza Kitchen, you have the Cheesecake Factory, you have Wood Ranch Barbecue, you have uh, wonderful uh, Mexican food, you've got lots of Asian food, you got Javier's. Sorry, I forgot the name of the Mexican restaurant which we love, Javier's. Just beautiful, beautiful interior uh, ambiance. You have, of course, Starbucks. You have a Pete's. You have. King Coffee in some places, you want to check them out. And Black Dot, Black Dot's becoming very big here. So, um, again, lots and lots of things. From a shopping, you have you have Nordstrom, you have Apple, you have you just have a lot of a lot of neat stuff. You have phenomenal Regal uh, Cinema here. It's really fun. You have uh, Four Max, you have IMAX, and you have it's all kinds of cool stuff. So, you've got all that. You also have the Improv. So, if you're looking to uh, to laugh. That's a great place to go uh, to be entertained. So, shopping, entertainment, food—that's just that's just the Irvine spectrum. Don't forget, you've got the North Park Shopping Plaza. You have Orchard Hills. Then, going going a bit farther, you have in Costa Mesa. You have uh, South Coast Plaza, huge. There now you're getting into you have Harry Winston. You have Chopar. You have Chanel. Um, in in Fashion Island, you have you have. Uh, Neiman Marcus, you have Bloomingdale's of various ones, you have Nordstrom, you have Macy's, you have Target, you have Costco, all within 35 minutes. I mean, you're talking about a, a huge number of, uh, of shopping, entertainment, and dining options. Irvine, one of the negatives of Irvine and one of the cons is we don't have a lot of mom and pop restaurants, not a lot of mom and pop stores. We just, it's dominated by the Irvine company. One guy, Donald Bren. Um, so they lease space at a premium. So it's tough for mom and pop stores or mom and pop restaurants to lease space in the Irvine company because the cost is so high. Um, and, and so you're going to have the Taco Bells. You're going to have California Pizza Kitchen, Cheesecake Factory. Not that there's anything wrong with those, except you're not going to get the mom and pop experiences that you'll get, for example, as you head over to Tustin. Certainly, the old 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 town test, and certainly heading to Santa Ana, where you have food trucks that have some of the best, honestly, some of the best food. Amazing tacos. You can get you know, Manuel's tacos, tacos Manuel. You can get. Uh, they have. Uh, there's a Korean bulgogi um, taco. Once my my son didn't want to try, but we tried it and had uh, the Korean meat and it had cabbage, and it was an amazing, 
amazing taco. You're not going to find it over in Irvine. You just, you just won't. Also, one of the, the odd things is ice cream trucks. This might sound a, a bit petty, but they don't allow ice cream, ice cream trucks in Irvine. You, you're just you're not going to find them in ice cream trucks driving around in Orchard Hills or Portola Springs or the Great Park or West Park. It, and it's odd. It's odd to me. Um, because you drive around in, in Tustin, certainly in Santa Ana, a lot of ice cream trucks and a lot of food trucks. So you have just all kinds of food trucks. And you also have um, churros. So you have kind of like donuts, a Mexican donut, deep fried, put sugar on it. It's good, but it's just a long donut. Um, but those, those kind of things, I think, make a community to have, to have that, to, whether it's the food trucks or whether it's uh, an ice cream truck. I, I think that we gather around those. You, you, the ma- neighbors come out and they meet each other. That's not something that a lot of people do in Irvine. Northwood, Northwood's a little different, certainly than Orchard Hills. Orchard Hills, you have a lot less community feel. Because of the age of Northwood, you're going to get the note. You're going to probably going to be out walking more because of the paseos. A lot of cul-de-sac paseos are walking paths. So you have a lot of walking paths. In fact, one of the, uh, the tracks we we did a uh, on our map tour, we went into Park Paseo track. So parks, walking paths. Very much a big thing. Proximity, half hour, Newport Beach, Newport Coast, Rota Del Mar, 45 minutes, Huntington Beach, Laguna Beach. It's it's an amazing location. There's just really, there's just not a lot of cons to owning in Irvine, period. But again, Northwood, I think for me, the biggest thing that I, I would tell people is you're going to get an older home. So, so don't think it's going to have all the the, the latest and greatest with the, uh, with the home automation systems, and you might not have granite. Some of them don't even have air conditioning. Some of the condos don't even have uh, garages. They have parking spaces. But what you're going to get is you're going to get a mature community. You're going to get a community with low HOA or in some communities, no HOA. You're not going to have Mellow Roos. Mellow Roos is an infrastructure bond that we have out here in California. A lot of homes, all the new homes here um, in in this area in Irvine have Melville Roost. Now there is a community in um, Lake Forest called Baker Ranch that they built, interestingly enough, they built it into the price of the home so they weren't making monthly payments or, or semi-annual payments. But out here, you are making pay, you are making uh, payments on a Melville Roost infrastructure bond is what I call them. They're really, it's the district they set up and they have a bond. If you have any additional questions about that, let me know. But it can add anywhere from three tenths to uh, to half a point, half a percent, on a uh, on the on your tax bill, which can be very can be sizable, thirty, forty, hundred thousand dollars. You don't have that in 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 Northwood. So again, the home's a little older, but you don't have mellow roofs, you have low HOA or no HOA. And typically, you're going to get a little bigger lot and a little bigger home than you will in Orchard Hills and certainly um, uh, Portola Springs and those areas. So lots of pros. There's lots of cons. But in some total, I love Northwood. It's a great community. A little bit over 2,000 condos and townhouses. Uh, really, there's condos where don't, I think legally we don't have any, any townhouses out here. Um, and you have over 5,000 single family homes. So it's not a small community, but it does have a community feel. So I, ho- I hope this was educational and I hope that you enjoyed it. Certainly, if you have any questions, give me a call, shoot me a text, send me an email. Don't forget to like our videos, hit the subscribe button, click the bell for notification. We'd love to make you aware the next time we upload a video on Irvine, California and surrounding communities.